Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alon Paul with this week's Anomaly Mission. Um, sorry it's been so long. I know it's been a couple weeks since I was able to do an Anomaly Mission, but uh, there's a lot of craziness uh, over here in the central U.S. in regards to storms, not to mention some other family issues that were going on. So very much apologize for not having content the last couple weekends with the exception of my scheduled content that I've been coming out with so I'm slowly catching up or I should say quickly catching up to all those scheduled videos that I have coming out so hopefully uh, hopefully you've watched the last couple episodes of my regular playthrough uh, you saw that they came out back to back like that and the last one was kind of a short one well that means I'm starting a new playthrough and it's gonna be a permadeath playthrough uh, so that's uh, that's what I'm doing on the next one. I hope you enjoy that one. It should be coming out next weekend. So hope you enjoy that. So again, today we're doing the anomaly mission. As you can see, I'm in my sky base, but as with the last update, as you can also see, things are dismally dark over here uh, because most of the things I put on my base are missing. Uh, I even put a light here just to see what would happen to it, and anything that I place on this base disappears, with the exception of certain doors. My base terminus is here, but everything in here is gone, including the windows. Except for this, uh, for some reason, this one counter. I don't know why. That's just the strangest thing. But everything, everything I've added to this base is gone. The plants are gone, the canisters are gone, everything. Very, very strange. So, you know, I just look at it as an opportunity to redecorate the base, but I want to make sure that it gets patched enough that I don't have to worry about it. And as you can see, I've got the new fighter, the Utopia Speeder, which I haven't renamed it. I don't think I will. <clears throat> it's a very, very fast ship. Um, I haven't tested out its speed yet uh, in atmosphere. Let me just take a quick peek at that. Whoa, okay, hang on. There we go. Yeah. Not bad. Without the uh, without my uh, upgrades as far as the boosters are concerned in my yeah that's not bad 288 that's pretty good. Without the boosters uh, in the upgraded slots uh, it's not bad not bad. I'm currently I've got my guns in the upgraded slots so you know they do an incredible amount of damage. But let's go ahead and get to the anomaly mission now. I think I've wasted enough time. Out. Let's pull in the anomaly. There we go. Let's get started here. And I have no idea what to expect. I'm just going to hit the side of this thing and then bounce my way in, as you can see. I feel like I, uh, I'm a little rusty today. I don't know what the heck just happened there. That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I mean, they just put out a little patch, so... Not sure if that has anything to do with it. I've turned off multiplayer for now, so, you know, you're not going to see any of your buddies around here. And I like this cape the best. I know they came out with a new one, but I, I like this one the best. What is in the store? I haven't even checked to see if there's anything that we're unlocking right now. Uh, okay, an Atlas Seed poster. Not bad. And, of course, the Utopia poster at night, number three. But the Voyage poster is open, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Uh, looks like we've got the research moving along, so let's uh, let's play a little catch up here. So what's our anomaly mission? Oh, that was the wrong button completely. What do we got? Laurel menace. We get to take out plants again, as long as it doesn't change mid mission. Let's go ahead and grab it and see what's going on. So I hope everybody out there's doing well. There's been a lot of. Uh, a lot of bad things happened in the past uh, few weeks. Uh, besides the storms and the loss of life around here, which, you know, our hearts and our prayers go out to all those folks who lost loved ones in the storms. Uh, uh, there was the uh, shooting in Germany that we're just completely floored about. Absolutely incredible. Uh, six people lost their lives. An unborn child lost its life as well. Um, horrific. Absolutely horrific. I, I don't know. I don't have words beyond that other than our prayers and our thoughts with the families. So, let's get to this mission and on to 
a little a more upbeat subject. I don't want this to be a completely uh, off-kilter run here. Let me see here. Looks like we got a nice little planet over here. Unknown. I'm curious as to what kind of planet it is. Let's do one more scan and see if we can get it this time. Rainy. Oh, wonderful with aggressive sentinels. This ought to be fun. Yeah, aggressive sentinels, huh? You know what? Let's say we have a little bit of fun. Why don't we make this video just a touch longer than usual? We're going to go ahead and do the anomaly, but I think it's time to take out some sentinels. I haven't done it in a while. So... Let me just get into the atmosphere here. We're going to check out our uh, multi-tool, make sure we're on par with what we want to do here. Let's see. This is the new weapon I'm using here, the Return of Zeal. At the moment, I'm probably going to switch over to my other weapon, my Osak, and I'll have a little fun with... Sentinels. As you know, the Return of Zeal that I'm, I'm carrying there, I haven't done the episode yet that is going to pull in a new multi-tool with everything next to it. So, uh, now as with this episode here, look, up, 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 right there, right there. Right there. Alright. So as with uh, everything, you know, the update uh, changed things and the massive multi-tool that we were all talking about um, never actually came to fruition. Uh, what happened is the old multi-tool, as you are aware, this one, I'll show it to you real quick. Yes, 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 honey, I know it is. This weapon here that has all these upgrades are the supercharged spots right here no longer is available. You cannot get it anymore. So we're looking for a better weapon, a newer one, if you will. So, we're going to go ahead and use it. Uh, piercing Thorns, completely unaware, we reduced the numbers, but... Bowen Travis Lock seems to mention the floral infestation, but holds no further clues. I will need to scout to locate Lazarus Flora. So, you know how I feel about this. Now, I can go after these guys right here, and we're just going to go ahead and just take them out with a mining beam for now. All right? And that's great. I got one. But our best option, and there's one right up there, too. That's two. Best option is to find ourselves a cave if we can, and I'm not anywhere near what looks like one. So, let me just take a quick peek. If I can look for... You want to look for things that are underground. Not buried cash. Subterranean relics uh, is what you're looking for. Humming sacks. There you go. Where are humming sacks? They're in caves. So as you can see, this is a sentinel planet because we have gravitino balls. Now, they're apparently a cave right underneath me. I'm gonna go down the hard way. Oh, apparently more than that. That is the neatest thing in the world. Okay, cool. Alright, back to our mining beam. And looky there. Right? Hazardous flora. One. There's two more right here. And that's how you find your caves. So I've already got five. So and if you just look around, you're obviously going to find more that are floating around at the ceiling or on the floor, as the case may be. I do not need any... Stop. I don't need you. Let's just take a look around, look for something to turn red with an asterisk. Asterisk? Pardon me. Exclamation point. Looks like we got a couple of them. And these might be above ground, so we might have three, like, right there. Um, so we may not even need this cave, to be honest with you, because I think the hazardous floor is pretty, 
pretty much all over the place. So there's one right over there. Except I gotta get past. Oh, hold on. I swore there was one right there. Wasn't there one right there? Oh, one over there. But I don't think. Yeah, I gotta be standing on the side wall over here to get to him. There we go. Yeah, let's get out of this cave, I think. I can't look up far enough to get... Because it still thinks I'm underwater. Alright, I'm just going to do this. We're going to bounce around on the ceiling over here. Alright, here we go. Now, can I look up again? It will not let me look up. Now it will. That is just crazy. Alright, another exit. Alright. Oh, for Pete's sake. There we go. There we go. How many is that? That's number eight. There he is. Number nine. And... Should be one right there. Mission complete. So we can head back to the space station, or pardon me, the anomaly, and take care of this. Or... Oh, I just don't like you anymore. Yes. What weapon do we have maximized on this tool today? We have the Neutron Cannon. Let's switch over, shall we? Neutron Cannon. Okay. Let's go hurt something. Like I said, we're going to make this a dual mission for ourselves. I'm going to correct up some Gravitino Balls because I feel like it. Alright, where are you guys? Hi, guys! Everybody's gone. Gone. Two shots. I love it. I really just do like this weapon. I mean, a pulse spitter really does have a lot going for it, and you can really, really enjoy it, but there's just something about taking out multiple sentinels with one shot. We have another runner around? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, you're there, huh? Goodbye. Who else? We don't want you around. Alright, so many shots we could take you out with. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Oops. Seven. Probably could have taken him out with a lot less. Alright. Oh, got a canister over there. Go ahead and take that out. Let's see, I think I want them to pop up over here. Hi guys. Eat that. That. Gone. Anybody else around? Besides you? Oh, 
Oh, the guy all the way out there. What are you doing out there? Another one out there. Good. Anybody else? Ooh, that's a neat little creature over there, isn't it? Hi, guy. Alright, how many shots? What do you think? One leg down. Two legs down. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. I don't know. Well, we're not hitting. Oh, we've got to hit the bottom portion. My bad. <sighs> Almost too easy, you know? Honestly. What is shooting at me? You? I thought the whole network was shut down. Do we have anybody else out here? Yeah, okay, disabled. About time. Now, I'm very curious about you. Oh, what are you? Impulsive, let's see. Impulsive forage. forage leftovers, really? He's not even a meat eater? Hmm. Not bad. Cute. Wow, I like the hand. I like the, like the front claws on him. Oh, that's just fierce, man. Not bad. Cool looking creature. Anyway. Yeah, that was a yawner altogether. So, what do you say we check out this planet real quick and see what they got over there, huh? Like that sentinel pillar? I think we got all the uh, supplies, right? I don't see anything. Okay. Yeah, I think we got everything. Let's take a look. But, because, you know, hey, why not, right? Do, do, do. Yeah, yeah, that felt good. Felt good to get that out of my system. In a rough week. Left a couple weeks. Alright, my friends. It's actually not a bad looking planet. I think I just killed a creature. I didn't really intend to do that. Sorry, buddy. There we go. Okay, so let's see what kind of uh, multi-tool they have here. Weapons technology. Let's take a peek. Loop of zeal. Another zeal, huh? Yeah, not the best of weapons. Uh, looks like we got a supercharger right here. These are not charged. My guess is that there may be some in here. I mean, there's a possibility you could have all three right here, and if that's the case, that makes this a pretty decent weapon. Hmm. I am curious. Let's tell you what. Let's go ahead and do it. While we have you. What do you say, right? Uh, we got to switch weapons real quick. Now you'll notice that when I when I get something I don't particularly care for, I'm going to go ahead and la name it name it. Bleh, can't talk anymore. Name it garbage or garb or something like that. And I've got other you know weapons in here. The return of zeal is the one I just got. So let's take the garb weapon, and I'm just going to double check it real quick, make sure I don't have anything in it. I shouldn't. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this out. Cartridges. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Great. All the garbage in my inventory. Uh, that was not what I was trying to do. Okay. And that. Okay. No big deal. Anything else? Not really. So you notice this one has three supercharged slots right here, but the fourth one, even if it was over here, really doesn't help me much, that much. It's got to be closer. So, 
I decided to go ahead and get rid of this one. Because it really just wasn't worth my while to upgrade it and everything like that. Okay, let's go ahead and trade it. Wow, neat creature sounds, man. I wonder if that's one of the other upgrades they've done. So we're going to compare it. Obviously, we're going to do the exchange. Uh, even though it is a B-class, I, I am very curious as to what we get down here. And log off. So what are we going to do? We're going to go ahead and set up a save beacon here. Uh, I'm going to change its color. There it is. Let's make this... What do you think? Gray and red? Red and white. Let's go red and white on this one. Doesn't make a difference what material. Okay, and we'll put it right here. So you'll find the save beacon if you look for it. Okay. Back to the ship. There's the ship. Now, like I said, I haven't turned in my reward to the Nexus as it keeps reminding me at the bottom, so I, my, my game is never saved. So we're really taking some chances here, folks. It is what it is. Alright, we're out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head towards the space station. Rather than an anomaly. Because any upgrades I want to do to this are going to happen at the space station. But all of my upgrades that I have are going to be on my freighter. So I'm going to pull my freighter in when I get there. They're in my cargo storage. That's basically what it is. But my freighter has it, so we'll go ahead and take care of it there. Now, hopefully I can get a couple more episodes of stuff um, done this weekend. Uh, we do have a little get-together to go to tomorrow, and uh, it's going to occupy most of my evening and stuff like that. And this evening, I've got my uh, kids here. They're going to be practicing for the get-together tomorrow. They have a like, talent thing going on. So, okay, now. Uh, yeah. Raider, we're going to put you over here. Boom, there you are. Let's head to the space station. There you go. I might change the jets on the back of this thing. The, the, the dilation or distortion on it, I'm not too keen about, I think, on this particular ship. Maybe sputtering... the sputtering flames or something like that would be pretty cool on this ship. All right, so now that we have everything, let's see what those extra spots will get us. Uh, let's see. So let's put it there. And it looks like we are not getting the expansion slots where we want them. So let me just take another look. I don't think we can install anymore because it's a B-class. So we didn't get any more. Now, mind you, that's the whole point. It is a B-class, so we're not going to see much. So let me go ahead and get out of this. Uh, let me see. Let's take a look at it. Let's fix some stuff here. Okay, nothing there. Okay. Why don't we upgrade it? Do I have enough? Uh, I should have enough that nights to upgrade this sucker. Let's see what happens when I upgrade it. Uh, let's see. Upgrade class. 25,000. Let's take a look at it. Okay, nothing yet. Doesn't look like it's going to give me what we're looking for here. So this is kind of a waste. I don't mind spending, because you know I'll just go to that one planet and I'll just get a ton of uh, nanites. Alright, so it looks like this became an, uh, possibly an upgrade slot here. A supercharged slot, yeah it is. But looks like that's the only two it gave me. Like, I should have enough resources to repair some stuff. Yeah, see, there's nothing really showing up in here. This becomes unworth it at this point, even if I add in more slots. So, I didn't waste a lot of materials on this. I wasted a lot of nanites, but I've got the nanites to spare. 
Um, let's take a look at this real quick. Yeah, yeah, no, nothing really special to look at. So yeah, I mean, for the experience, you guys know that you, if you get that weapon, it's not going to give you a whole heck of a lot that you can work with. And believe it or not, I've never upgraded my exosuit all the way, so, you know, whatever. We'll get that done. Okay. So we're going to head out to the Anomaly and collect our reward. Ouch, I just literally ran face first into a uh, baller. Ah, there's a bad dad joke in there. Maybe to say, hey, he hauled off and slapped me in the face. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That was terrible. All over to the space anomaly. And these little paint job out there. It's getting a little scratched up. Okay, no weird glitches this time. Looks like we're just smoothly arriving. You know what we could do? We could do a nice thing here and just let's turn on the network for a little bit. And we should see a whole bunch of ships suddenly pop up out of the nowhere. Yep, yep, you see that staggering? Yep, here they come. Got a living ship. Oh yeah, he just popped in. Alright. Alright, there we go. Look at all these wonderful people. All these wonderful travelers. Bread and butter of this sh of this place, isn't it? Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, let's complete my mission. 1800. So we are all set. And that completes out the mission. So we got 1800 Quicksilver, and obviously I can get three more missions if I want and make another uh, 1200 on top of that, so it gives me an extra 3000. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Good stuff. I am sporting the new helmet, of course, from the expedition. Obviously, I've completed it. I think I've completed it twice now. Um, and I am going through a video by video showing of this. Now, what I hope to do is I hope to complete out the expedition in the next video. And then, after that, go on a speed run for it. And I, I, I have so many things I want to do. I want to do a permadeath run. I've got the uh, new weapons I want to look at, things like that. There's so much to do, so much to get caught up on. So, uh, you know, really appreciate all you guys subscribing. I appreciate the comments every single time. Thank you very much. And uh, hit that like button if you like the video. It always helps. Really mention it to your friends and family. You know, tell everybody to come by, come by and uh, subscribe to the channel and watch some nice videos. Again, family friendly. Always keep it on the up and up. And I try to be... Uh, Try to be nice to everybody, you know, uh, and, and I, I expect that from everybody else, please, that if you put comments in, I always love suggestions, I always like the criticism, even if you criticize what I'm doing or something that I need to be doing, by all means, you know, put it in there and say something to me, and I, I appreciate it, I always take it to heart, uh, you guys have had great suggestions in the past on certain things, and I really appreciate it, so... We're going to sign off now. We thank you very much for watching. And again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. As I always say, never criticize kindness. Always be kind when you can. Be truthful in all things, especially to yourself. Thank you very much, folks. Take care.